guys, it's your girl Ro, and welcome back to another Uncensored Eats Cooking video tutorial. Today on my menu, I will be showing you all how to make my rice crispy treats. And I'm using something a little bit different. I'm not using rice scripsies per se, and I'm also not using fruity pebbles per se. I am using Stop and Shop brand Fruity Bites to make my rice crispy treats. So as I did you see as before, my Stop and Shop brand Fruity Bites. I am using, again, my Stop and Shop brand marshmallows. I have Country Amish Rove Butter, and this is so delicious. Uh, I have Nutmeg. I do add a little nutmeg to my Rice Krispie Treats. It's a, something a little bit different, and it just reminds me of being in the islands. Nutmeg is very, very big in the islands, and I'm really excited to add this into this dish and bring a little of the island into my home and into different kinds of snacks and treats and i am so excited to share this recipe with you all and i can't wait for you guys to try it and to tell me what you think i also have my vanilla but before we get into this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share tag a friend to tag a friend and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time i upload a new video so let's get to making these treats let's get to stuffing our faces with these treats and just like having a blast with this. So um, we're going to start by melting down our marshmallow with our butter. So if you guys can follow me on over to my stove side and let's get to cooking and making this dish delicious and making these treats for these kids. So come on over. <laughs> okay guys, and we're back and we're about to start making our Fruity Bites Rice crispy treats. And I'm going to show you what they look like they're pretty similar to Fruity Pebbles, but these are the Stop and Shop brand Fruity Bites. Um, we're about to start. My pan is hot, and I'm going to add six ounces of Amish rolled butter. This butter is salted, so I won't need any salt whatsoever. So what we're waiting for, we are waiting to have our butter melted, and then we are going to add our marshmallows. So I'll just leave this right here. And we'll come back and we'll check it in a bit to see how far melted our butter is. Not to worry, guys. I will have this recipe in the description box down below. So please do not forget to check this out. These Fruity Bites Rice crispy Streets are a great pastime with your kids. They're great for birthdays. They're great for just any little functions you are having. Even for adults, they're great for. So we're going to come back and check on our butter and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so let's take a look at our butter. Oh, wow, that is really melted. So we're going to add 15 ounces of marshmallows. These are the big ones. And this is going to make your rice crispy treats very marshmallowy and very creamy. So we added the marshmallows into the butter, and we're going to mix this until it's all melted. Add an additional five ounces of marshmallows when you do this you want your pot over a medium and low heat to slowly melt all your marshmallows if you have it on medium high heat you risk the chance of your marshmallow and your butter burning if you have it on a medium low heat it will help you to gauge where your marshmallow and butter is so this is looking really good ah uh, yep looking really good and we're just going to keep working and working our marshmallows slowly until it is all melted wow this looks really good you want to slowly work your butter into the marshmallow all right guys so while this is working its way through i am going to add my nutmeg in some people would add this in at the end but I am adding mine in while the marshmallow is melting only because I want the nutmeg to distribute evenly throughout my melted product. If I wait until the end, oh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. If I wait until the end, my nutmeg will not distribute evenly. And not only that, I would have way too much nutmeg on one side of the marshmallow and it would just be a wad of nutmeg you're biting into 
Oh, I can smell that. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, yep. So, so good. You can see the marshmallow coming along. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I am really excited for this recipe, guys. So as you can see, with me slowly working the marshmallow in the butter or the butter into the marshmallow, you can see that it completely married into each other and it's just like looking so good already. And oh my goodness, I just, ugh, I just get so excited when it comes to food. <laughs> so excited we're almost there guys we are almost there i got like two pieces left oh my god you can see the marshmallow starting to bubble so what i'm going to do is now that our marshmallow is all the way melted i am going to turn my heat off and let my pot sit over the heated plate and we're going to add our fruity bites so this is 11 ounces of Fruity Bites, but I reserved a cup of Fruity Bites for the end. You want to always reserve at least a cup of Fruity Bites for the end. And that looks really good. And we're just, oh, wow. And we're going to fold this in. This is going to be so creamy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Let me bring this closer. Look how creamy that is. Oh my goodness. You just wanna keep working the Fruity Bites until you get every piece of Fruity Bites into that melted marshmallow oh my god this looks so good oh so i'm just gonna keep working until every part of my fruity bites is completely covered in this gooey goodness Oh my God, look at this. Let me bring this closer. Look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So now that our Fruity Bites are in this gooey deliciousness, we're gonna move over to our prep station and we are going to plate up our Fruity Bites Rice Krispie Treats on our silicone rubber mat and our half sheet tray. All right guys, and we're at our prep station and if you can take a closer look at this gooey deliciousness look at this look at that oh my goodness oh i just can't wait i'm super excited so what we're going to do is we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla and we're going to mix this in to give it even more flavor and just making it even more delicious we're going to take our cup of Fruity Bites and just work its way back into the melted gooiness. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to take four marshmallows and we're just gonna cut those back into the Rice Krispie Treats. You can use small ones if you have. I do not have, so I am using the ones I had and I'm cutting them down into much smaller pieces. Ah, there you go. There you have it. That is looking so good. All right, so we're just gonna fold all that into, oh my God. There you have it. So I'm going to move this over here and you're going to need a half sheet tray and a silicone rubber mat. And what we're going to do is I'm going to lightly oil my hands, as you can see. If you 
have a rubber silicone mat, you do not need too much oil or too much spray onto your silicone mat. So if you did what I just did, I slightly rubbed my hands with the blended oil and I wiped it onto my silicone mat. That way it's just a safe keeping just in case my Rice Krispies Treats were to get stuck onto my mat. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn, let me put it this way, we're going to turn our Rice Krispies Street over. Oh my God. This looks really good. I am trying to get every bit of everything out of here. And I got most of it. So we're going to wipe this off. You could use your fingers, you could use a spoon. It is still slightly hot. So if you're not heat resistant, I recommend you to use a spoon or another spatula. So what we're going to do is we're going to use my fingers to aid in forming this. You can still see marshmallows melting all over the place. Oh my God. All right, so I'm going to take a part of this. There you go. There you go. I just want to get every bit of product out of the pot. I do not want to waste anything at all. Nothing. And we're just gonna shape these really nicely. Oh my god, guys, there you have it. Our Rice Krispie Treats is in its place. It is looking really good. I just can't wait to dig into this. And when we come back, guys, we will shape and cut our Rice Krispie Treats. Until then, we are going to let this cool for an hour until it hardens. And then we'll come back and we'll just get to stuff in our faces. I'll see you guys in an hour. Bye for now. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and our Rice Krispie Treats is all cool and it's looking really good. So I'm just going to move this over just a little bit and I'm going to be putting some damp paper towel down and my cutting board. All right, guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn our Rice Krispie Treats over onto our cutting board and we're going to slightly lift Oh, look at that. All of that gooeyness. And I'm going to, wow, that looks really good. I'm just going to shape it a little bit. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. So this is looking really, really good. And I'm just going to keep shaping it a little bit. And patting it down just a little bit. I just like touching things. So we're going to take or paste your ruler. You don't have to use a ruler, you can if you want to, but I will be using one. And we're going to measure our rice scripts. So this is about 10 and a half inches, and we are going to cut this at five and a half inches. Oh, you heard that crunch? There you go. And I'm just going to shape this one to make it look Good. And we're going to measure again. And this is five and a half inches. And I'm going to be cutting at three inches.
And I'm going to shape this one just as I did the others. And then we're going to measure this and do the exact same thing. And we're going to shape this up as well. So my husband and I, we love Rice Krispies. And I'm going to be cutting each Rice Krispies while adult size, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. And there you go. And ooh, let me bring this closer. Look at that. Oh. And we're going to cut. And cut. And we're going to shape these as well. And we're just going to shape. You want it to have somewhat of a square shape you don't want it to be out of shape so these are our rice crispies guys and not only do they look delicious they look amazing these look so 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 good and we're going to start playing up our dessert all right guys, so we're just going to start playing up our Fruity Bites Rice Krispie Treats. So like I mentioned before in my video, I used the Stop and Shop brand Fruity Bites and also used the Stop and Shop brand Marshmallows. I always use Stop and Shop brand for every little thing that I do. And I wanted to use it for this video right here. The reason why I chose Stop and Shop brand was because I didn't want that whole artificial sweetener of stuff. And I didn't want my Fruity Bites to be too sweet. So that is the reason why I used their brand. Because Stop and Shop brand is just really great. Oh my god. Guys, this is a great pastime with your kids. And you could just add some sprinkled extra Fruity Bites to make this dish complete. Look at this, this looked amazing. So let me bring this a little closer so you guys can see it. These are my Fruity Bites Rice Cripsy Treats. And again, I got my Fruity Bites from Stop and Shop. It is their brand and I use their brand of marshmallow. So this is it. This is a great way to pass the time with your kids. It is great for adults. It is just great for every occasion, for every and any occasion. So that's what it looks like. So, yeah. So this is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for watching. Again, it's your girl, Rob from Uncensored East. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tag a friend to tag a friend. And hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. So until next time, guys. Bye.